uppercut. Slide off. So that is a way that we do very often. A parting tool. Standard grind. Standard parting tool. So, as you can see, parting tool, no problem at all. So, uh, that cuts me So, again, uh, just move it over, mark the other end where we go part off. Again, don't want to go too close to the four plons. So, now that's given the overall length go to be making something of this shape and then that's going to have overtly parting tools grooves cutted now shaping this round so basically a honey dipper is rounded at the end so just pick it up and roll so it's just like you turn in a bead, so roll it over. So flat, then start to twist the handle. So it goes more towards the base of a short point. Pick it up, slide along and twist. I'm going to go on the side camera uh, so you may be able to see how the handle's coming on. Just go to hold it further down there, you may see it better. So just pick it up, slide along, and twist. Slide, and twist. I'm not bothered about that building up in front of me. Uh, that's not a problem. So again, need some shape in here. Now, if you do, you catch your short point, which is at the bottom. Some people use this around Christmas time, where you may have seen Christmas trees, and there's all sort of fluffy bits around them. That's how that's done. It's just purely by using uh, the bottom point or the small point. I tend to call them long point and short point. Uh, right, so just roll it in this way. Still quite large. So again, just rolling it the other way. There's no right safe to use like this. Just means I'm holding my handle more horizontal. So it just means I can get this roof down then. You can see a lot better what we're going to be doing tonight. Just slide and stop. Same with a screw drizzle, a spindle with a finger out, or any. On spindle work, where the grain is running parallel from headstock to tailstock, same rules apply. Always go downhill. So again, just picking that up. So you see, we do get slightly more ridges. when you go down if you don't do a convex grind then the other way just bringing that down there Joining them two up together and then just come the other way and merge them two together. Stop the lathe and then we'll just round this top part over slightly. 
again I'm pulling the two rest away while the lathe's stopping not going inwards so again I'm now using my long point I sometimes prefer to use my long point to all beads but short point is what most people do I find it's as easy to do one or the other what's the advantage of using the long point rather than the round one you get better visibility just cut down there to get rid of some that waste so basically doing half a V but we'll come to that at the other end so again just roll that over so flat on virtually on the two rest the blade is flat then pick up on the short point slowly twist over and then now is the skew chisel my favourite tool? Yes and no. For doing a plain and cut across to get smooth, yes. Uh, for doing beads, I prefer uh, my spindle gouge, but that is just me. So I've just dropped my tool rest back down now slightly. Uh, because what I'm going to do is just mark it out. This could be marked out with a set of dividers for equal spacing. I'm just going to eyeball it up. So that's the first part of a V cut straight in. The second part is just swing your handle. I go to the left first and just go in. And I'm going to do a few of these at once. That's already cut, so we don't need to do it. Then I swing my handle to my right and come in from the right hand side. You can see the little parts coming out. So let's do these down here. I'll do me one go each. So I've been straight in. Then swing my handle to my left. Now I'm swinging it to my right. Again, keeping the handle or the blade vertically. Because if I roll it over or lean it to one side, that's when it can grab. So we've got that nice and clean now. Just wider of these are than uh, the width of a parting tool. So that means we won't be actually cutting the top surface. We'll be slightly underneath the surface. So that will prevent any break out of the top. Again, this could be done with uh, a pair of calipers, but you're going to need some really small thin spring calipers to get in these narrow grooves uh, I tend to just do them by art so again I could start with this one here just go in stop don't forget to pull out on the two wrist don't lift it up and pull straight out next one and I'm looking at the back edge I'm looking over the far side to gauge the depth so again I'm just looking at the diameter in the center of that one and then turning this one down to the same diameter now again when using anything like this I don't think you need to worry if it's a slightly out in dimensions So again, slide out, and then the last one. So again, that's with the parting tool. Uh, you've no choice, you can't use any other. With a parting tool, unless you go really slowly and carefully, it will tear the grain. So we'll go back to the skew chisel now. So again just want to roll that over always maintain a forward pressure if you relaxed I mean I'm not holding it heavily or pushing heavily but if you let it like relax it will want to push out and spin outwards 
just down to centrifugal force. So again, just nibbling that down, because don't forget this is the top what people are handling and looking at. Now we're down to about three millimeter, uh, and to go any further, that's going to risk breaking it off. So I'll just release the pressure on that, and you can just see we've got that tiny bit there at the end to just finish off. But uh, you can see there's a hole in it. Uh, bit off. It will pull the grain and tear it. So again, uh, just come slightly off. Uh, again, this would be better in advice. That's almost through. I'm just going to pick that up because if I don't pick it up, we all know clean and easy to use. Again, sycamore beets purely because it's going to be dumped in honey. Then of course, uh, could be left there depending on what you prefer or it's going to be taken out and washed again i'm going to state the obvious uh i would not ever recommend uh a dishwasher uh i'd always recommend hand sun, uh, hand washing it uh but uh, that's a very simple project what can be done with a skew chisel uh if you do shallow curves it's easy if you do really steep ones uh i would prefer a spindle gouge without any questions uh, but that's a little, nice little simple project uh, just to get your screw chisel 